hello guys in this video we'll be making an expert advisor a robot that will take trades based on a random condition not really a not really a set strategy and i will also introduce you to the back testing function because we'll check the ea using the back testing function now first of all we'll take these out and go down take this out Okay, let's start afresh. Now, we want to make an EA that will buy when we generate a random even number and sell when we generate a random odd number. First of all, I'll make a variable called value and the value of this variable will be a random number generated by the math rand function. This function will give you a ran any random number at all. When this value comes, we want to check if the remainder, oh, let's do this, value is equal to math modulus. We want to check if it's an odd number or an even number. So we're going to divide it by 2 and see if there's a remainder. If there's a remainder, then it's an odd number but if there's no remainder it's an even number so let's see the result of this first let's see print print value okay let me put this in the initialize function so that we can see the result so compile and okay here we have one We have one as the result. Let's let's run it again. That's let's initialize it again. Click OK. And I think we also have one again. Let me remove it. Remove it and put it back on chat. Okay. Okay. Still an odd number. They are generating odd numbers for us. I want to see zero to see if it's we get an even number. Let me. Okay, no problem. Um, so we're getting odd numbers. Okay, let's print. Let's do this. Int remain. So we can see the value and the remainder separately. So we'll see the generated number and we'll see the remaining after division the generator number is 8043 which is an odd number and the remainder is 1 which is correct so compile again and see another number ok we are getting odd number so no problem if it gives an even number the remainder will be 0 so moving forward we have our I'll use double here receive okay we we'll use double here now moving forward let's generate the result let's use the result of the division to take a trade I'm going to write the buy code and the sell code now so if the condition for buy will be if remain is equal to zero and let's make sure there's no open trade so I'm going to say and others total is equal to zero now when you're writing a condition these are boolean this is a boolean expression if remain is zero this this expression will return true if others total is zero this expression will return true and if this is true and this is true, then this will be executed. Whatever is inside here will be executed. But if this is false, this will not be executed. If this is false, this will not be executed. So the AND operation means that everything inside this bracket must be true for this to happen. But if I use this OR operation, it means that if this is true or this is true, then this can work. 
so if this is true and this is false then this whatever is inside here will work but if they are both false whatever is inside here will not work so the AND operation means all have to be true and the OR operation means only one has to be true okay so if remain is zero that means it's an even number and there's no open trade then let's get a buy here so i'm going to say int buy is equal to order send the symbol the symbol is the first input now this other send is a default mql4 function that opens trades so you write the other send then the moment you put a comma here you see the input that this function takes and you can set all of them and use to send the trade so here we have to put the command which is a buy trade and then the number of trades we want which is entered in this form it can be 0 0.1, 0 0.0, 0 0.01, depending on your broker and the type of size, type of volume sizes that it accepts. But here it accepts from 0 0.01 to, I think, 100.0. So I'm going to take 0 0.1, which is the equivalent equivalent of um, 10,000, 10,000 in the currency of the broker. So next is the price, the entry price. All buy trades enter at ask price and all sell trades enter at bid price. And the distance between those two prices is the spread as a broker's commission. For the slippage, I'm going to put 10, which is 10 points, that's one pip. Then the stop loss, the stop loss is zero because I'm not putting a stop loss. Take profit zero, no take profit, no comments and no magic number no expiration and the color should be blue okay now if remain is a is an odd number and others total is zero means no trades and we have an odd number okay let's let's use one <coughs> if okay leave it at zero the other total is zero bid price to sell and leave everything then use red for sell trades i'm going to compile this and now we're going to get only one trade either buy or sell from our ea now let's go to the tester if your tester is not visible here like this then you come here and make sure you have this button pressed pressed when you have it pressed you should have a tester tab and expand that tab by double clicking it then you find your ea that you've written after you've compiled it after, then open it up and let's test and see what kind of trades we'll get okay let's print show the values that we get just so just so we know which values trigger the trades let's go up and get our print code okay it's not there anymore print value remain now let's run it okay there's a problem here We're getting multiple trades, but <clears throat> even with that, you can understand. Oh, I use the all function, all operation instead of the and because of the all. So it's only working when remain is zero or when remain is one. It doesn't check if trades are zero also. That's why we have many trades. So if you look at this log, you can see that after this, which is an odd number we get to buy oh, there's something wrong here 
oh 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 i know why it's happening because the this condition is also here it also opens trade so when trades are zero you get a trade when remain is zero you get a trade when this is zero you get a trade when this is one you get a trade so okay change this to sell then i'm going to change this to and so that both conditions have to be true for the trade to come now let's stop and run okay let's just okay now you can see we have a buy trade no this is before okay this is where the test started this last test now you have an even number and the remainder is zero so you get a buy trade then we had an odd number and the remainder is one but we didn't get a sell trade because the second condition was not met trades have to be zero for the second condition to be met so let's introduce the stop loss and the take profit so that it can close trades for us now i'm going to use the input parameters input double stop loss input double take profit now these parameters will close trades for us when the trade is gaining 100 points it will close when it's, when it's losing 100 points it will close when it's gaining 100 points it will close so let's set those values inside our trade i'm going to say double bsl is equal to that's buy stop loss is equal to ask minus stop loss times points no point and let's set the take profit here we're setting the take profit and the stop loss in terms of the price that the, the take profit and the stop loss should be positioned now for a buy trade the take profit is above the trade and the stop loss is below the trade that's why you have minus here minus stop loss and plus take profit so here i'm going to say bsl which is the input position for stop loss that's this place you can see stop loss and when you move forward you have the input position for take profit btp i'll do the same for the sell side <coughs> ssl stp then i'll reverse these conditions in a sell trade the, the stop loss is above the trade and the take profit is below the trade and the price is bid not not ask so ssl and stp so when the profit is met the trade will close when the loss is met the trade will close and another trade can open so let's clear the log and move forward my period is too much i'm going to reduce this so we the test doesn't take long okay okay so here we have our first trade this is a sell trade that means we got an odd number with a remainder of one as it here five to five one remainder one so if i continue it hits the stop loss or the take profit and the next trade is triggered and after that hits tp or sl the next trade is triggered and so on so you can look at it here you have the cell open you get more numbers but no trade is taken until the cell is closed by take profit and then the next number is an odd number remainder one so you get another cell it goes on closes at stop loss you get another odd number remainder one and you get another cell and that's how it goes on and on and on Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.